Hi, this is a series of videos comparing AutoCAD commands. In this video, we will be comparing bpoly, join, fillet, and chamfer. They all do similar things in that they join things together, but they do them in very different ways. So here's my original figure. Um, it is all lines. If I hover over it, you can see that that is a line. So now I'm going to use B poly, and it's going to make a boundary polyline of wherever I choose to intersect, choose an, basically an island, just like if I was hatching. So I want to make this interior irregular pentagon into its own boundary so that I can put it on a different layer, perhaps. So I will do my B poly command. And it says pick points, island detection. I'm going to um, turn it into a polyline. That's the new boundary object. And, and so that's fine. OK, so yes, that's what I want to do. I'm going to pick the point, And there I want to pick the internal point, And voila. It has made a boundary here. Let me make another one. This, I'm going to hit enter. If I hit escape, it'll cancel the command. So I hit enter. And now I have a polyline of the intersection. Now, if I move that, you can see I still have my original lines. This is just now a new shape that I didn't have to draw. I didn't have to trace anything. All I did was use the B poly command, very handy. So now here you can see, again, I've got all of my lines, but I want to join them. So I'm gonna go ahead and use noun verb because I know that join can do that. And I'm gonna invoke the join command and voila, it says here five objects were converted to one polyline. And so now when I hover over it, it says polyline and the whole thing gets selected. Now, fillet does something entirely different. It does look like it's going to join a couple of lines, but it actually doesn't. So um, if I invoke the fillet command, I am going to make a radius of two. And then I'm going to go ahead and do multiple objects. And so my first object, and remember, I'm not going way up here. I'm just clicking the object and now the second object. And now immediately, because I use the multiple command, it's saying, OK, first object, second object, first object, second object. And I can keep going until I have curved all of those uh, star points. Now, these are still individual lines. They are just connected now by an arc of a specific radius. And you can see it even says that it is an arc. It is no longer a line. It is an arc. All right, so now let's go ahead and chamfer these same things. We'll choose an angle of 30. And you'll see the difference between fillet, which makes them round, and chamfer, which does not. Go ahead and select everything. So if I do CH, that changes my properties, change space, and CHA will let me chamfer. So I'm going to go ahead and do multiple again. And the, the angle I need to set. And so this angle is 30 degrees. Here's my first line and my second line. First line, second line. See what's happening? I can't do it because there's nothing back here to do that. 
can't do that. The camphor distance is too large. So let's change our angle. Let's make it 10. So here's the first line. And it's thinking the lines are parallel. So I'll check. This is the first line, and then I am able to chamfer it. Notice it's not chamfering between them. Well, it is, actually. That little top part is the original line. But you can see it's being chamfered 10 degrees. It's a big distance, though. So I'm going to go ahead and change the distance and you can see that blunts the end. So it works a little bit differently than fillet. It squares off the end instead of rounding it. Now, are these all still lines? Yes, they are. They have just changed their position automatically using the, the math that the computer can do. So that's the difference between B-poly, join, fillet, and chamfer.